Hi there, I'm just going to give a quick example on how to simplify uh, a system of forces. And um, let's ignore the supporting structure and just look at the beam. Okay. And I want you to see 150 pounds over here and 400 pounds here. 50 pounds upward and then 600 pounds upward, right? 600 pounds, geez. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to consolidate all this into point A. Point A is right here on the left. First off, as a rigid body, it does not matter where the force is applied. The force retains, uh, it, it can be moved and translated anywhere within that, anywhere within that body uh, as long as there's a coupling moment that goes with it. For instance, let me go over that. If we were to say move all of these forces to say point A, okay? Let's just move them all there, just to, for an idea right now. Only considering forces, you would add up all the forces that were pushing up and you would subtract all the forces pushing down. So that would be 650 minus 450, uh, 550. So the resulting force would actually be 100 pounds upward. Okay. But we know, looking at these, that the beam would respond differently. So there must be something that kind of occurs here, and this is where our moments come in. Um, basically, by moving in this 400 in, what we're missing is, what we're losing is that twisting action about point A. It's a twisting action that causes, that would cause this beam to rotate clockwise. And same thing with the 50, which would m make it rotate counterclockwise, and the 600 as well. So, how do we deal with this? We just, basically, what we did is, first off, we consolidated all the forces together. So now we know this is the resulting force, regardless of what our moment is. Now we need to find, essentially, our moment. I'm going to just give it a positive direction, no matter what. And then we'll solve for it, okay? So what we're going to do, is I'm going to say moment equals, okay? The moment at point A. Well, there's none. There's nothing labeled at point A. Uh, moment plus moment one thousand foot pounds. No, nope. there's no label like we did here. So there's no moment being applied right there. However, there are other other forces that will be applying a moment. So we have to con uh, calculate them. To calculate them, make sure you remember that. Um, keep in mind your directionality because that will change whether you're adding or subtracting it. So, now for a kickoff, we have a distance of 8 times the perpendicular force, which is 400. Is that negative or positive? It's negative. And the reason it is is because it's going clockwise and counterclockwise was the direction that w is known as positive. So let's continue. Well, we know this one's going to be positive because 50 goes the opposite direction. So now we know 8 plus 5, which will be 13, times 50 pounds. Okay, well, keep going, keep going. Now you have 23 times 600 pounds. Okay. Well, this is how we're going to determine essentially the moment, the resulting moment at A. 
the resulting moment is going to be let me just calculate it out we're going to kind of do this on the fly a little bit this is going to be negative 3200 right plus 13 times 50 which is going to be 650 notice how the 50 pounds made quite a bit it made more of a difference because it was further out well that's that makes sense because you're multiplying it by the length of the moment arm and each of these as they get progressively further and further away they have a much larger moment arm so now what you find is that you have this minus 3200 plus 650 the total moment is going to be 11,250 foot-pounds. That's awesome. So that's what M equals. That is M. M equals 11,250 foot-pounds. Oops. So I'm not going to draw the main picture because it, it's very misleading and I'll get into a big technical jargon about rigid bodies. What I'm trying to get across at is that you can bring everything down to one force and one moment. Which is 100 pounds, right? Plus the moment which is 11,250 foot-pounds. Now, one other thing I want you to remember. This can, if you're talking about moments only about point A, you can shift, you can shift it, both the moment and the force out to the other side to another location and also get another true statement. Let me just show you that real quick. You have A, okay? Let's just shove it out I don't know, 10, 10 feet, okay? 10 feet. The idea is that you could actually pull from this point with one force only and get the same reaction at point E. So it would actually be a hundred pounds or you would have a, your moment, right? So I'm going to just say force uh, force A, okay? It doesn't really matter. Force A force A will equal the force, the hundred pounds, which we already determined, plus 11,250 feet pounds, which is the moment that we have around point A, divided by moment arm. 10 feet. Let me just calculate that out for you. That will equal 100 plus 100 plus one, one, two, five. Very simple. So that's twelve twenty-five. There you go, guys. And uh, pretty simple stuff. And it will help you out later on as well. Have a good one.